Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do another HelloFresh cooking video, but I wanted to show you how it was packaged because I didn't get to show you that in the last video. So all I've done is open the box. I haven't pulled anything out. Nutritional info and then my recipe cards for the three meals I ordered. I got the fajitas, the maple glazed pork chops, and the meatloaf. Um, and I ordered the four pork four person this week because my mom and sister are in town. So this is the four person meal, so it'll be nice to show you guys that. So it's got this, um, which is like, I'm not even sure what it is to keep everything cold, but I can feel it's cold just like on this side of it. Um, so this, oh goodness, this is heavy. This bag is the chicken cheddar fajitas. Mm. This bag is the maple glazed pork chops, which is the meal I'm probably most excited for. The rosemary meatloaf. Sorry if the lighting is weird in here. These um, sconces like hang really low to the island. So then there's this little thing dividing it, and then you find all of your meats. So let's see, we've got some uh, 8515, 8515 beef. I think this is for, must be for the meatloaf. Um, pork chops. More pork chops. Boneless, skinless chicken breast, and boneless, skinless chicken breast for the fajitas. And then these are just two big things of ice. And um, I wish I could show you guys this. They're still like, do you hear that? Like frozen. Show them the clock. It's 7 o'clock at night right now. This is getting delivered. We live out in the sticks, y'all, and food, our deliveries get here really late. We're at the end of our UPS man's route. So if it's still frozen for us, then I promise you it'll still be frozen and fresh when it gets to your house. So we're gonna go with the maple glazed pork chops. We're a big pork loving family in this house. We're big. So, <laughs> yeah, no joke though. Um, so that's what we're gonna See. cook tonight. Yeah, <laughs> right next to the Razorback candle. So it's kind of what I expected. I went ahead and just opened this and peeked in, but it's just double for the four person plan. At least the classic plan. The fam I think there's like a family and a classic that are a little different, but um, so it's just double, so I'll pull all this stuff out and let's show you guys what I have. I also wanted to mention that I will put a code in the description box that you'll get $40 off your first box, which is like a super good deal because if you only order the two-person plan, the box is $60, so I believe it would make it only $20. Comment down below if I'm wrong so that other people will kind of have a heads up, but I believe that is the, I'm correct on that. So, um, definitely... Definitely do that at least once, and then you could um, not have to do it again to at least get it to try it. So these are little balsamic vinegars. Um, and then that's just about it. So oh, cinnamon, and then little garlic cloves. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started by peeling the potatoes. Next, we need to fill this up to cover it by one inch. Bring to a boil and cook until easily pierced with a knife. About 12 minutes, so I'm gonna turn it up high and I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it. So then I'm just um, seasoning both sides of the pork chops with a little bit of salt and then a little bit of pepper. And then once that oil in the pan heats up, we will add that to the pan and then cook them um, for about four to six minutes per side until they're cooked through. And um, then just get started on the green beans. So as you can probably hear, <laughs> the olive oil is hot, so I'm just kind of spreading it. To make sure the pan's kind of covered. Um, it's not all just gathering on the sides. And I'm gonna add our pork chops. The next thing it tells you to do is to mince the garlic, but I um, have this, so you could definitely do this with a knife by hand, which is probably what it means is saying to do. But I'm just gonna crush it in this garlic mincer. So we've got the water boiling. I'm gonna hope that these green beans all fit into this pot. And these only cook three to four minutes until um, they're just tender. You still want them to be a little bit crisp, so I'm just going to add all those in, kind of just 
spread them out a little bit. That's perfect. And let that boil for three to four minutes. I'm gonna set a timer because you don't want to overcook them and then get soggy green beans. I'm gonna take these pecans or pecans or whatever you whatever you like, and just kind of get them toasted, kind of warm them up in there, and um, just for a couple minutes and keep a real close eye on them. All right, so it's time to go ahead and flip these pork chops. So we're just gonna flip the pork chops. Oh, that's pretty. Hopefully they all look like that. Pecans are almost ready. No pecans or whatever you like. I'm gonna go ahead and check these sweet potatoes. I'm just gonna pull one out. Oh, see that? That's just about perfect. So I'll wait till the green beans get done and drain those and then these will come off right next. And you can almost tell when green beans are done cooking because they get this like vibrant color the same way with broccoli. If you've ever cooked broccoli, they go from kind of a dull lackluster green to a really bright, pretty green. So I'm going to bet that these are just about ready, just even just based on the color. But we'll still test them to make sure, but I'm going to say those are just about ready. And I think these pecans have toast enough. I'm going to kind of smell them. They smell fragrant and good. So I'm just going to turn this off and set these aside. There we go. Just going to guesstimate because it really doesn't stop, doesn't really matter with this. It looks like that's going to take just about my whole butter dish. Put that in there. And it says a pinch of garlic. So I'll probably take about half of the crushed garlic and add that just right there on top and then just kind of wait for that butter to kind of melt and then stir that up. And now. I'm sure the sweet potatoes are ready, but based on how tender they were before. Oh, and we want to add salt and pepper to the green beans, which I don't want to forget. So, I'll go ahead and do that. And let's take these and go strain these. So I messed up a little bit in the directions. It says to keep this pot of water boiling on the stove and then add the green beans to this pot. I obviously didn't do that. So we're just going to strain the water into the sink. Our pork chop timer went off, so while the... The potatoes are fine sitting there in the strainer. I'm going to check the temperature. I recommend investing in a meat thermometer, digital meat thermometer, if you don't have one. And right there, we got pork at 170 is what it needs to be at. So let's check it and see what we're at. Don't think it's going to reach 170 based on how slow it's going up. I'm just going to toss those green beans and that butter. I might end up pulling out a little bit more butter and adding it because... Um, I added everything that was in my butter dish, but I don't think that was quite enough for the way I'm going to want it. This is the south, y'all. Yeah. So I'll probably pull some more butter out here in a minute, but I'm going to get back to the sweet potatoes right now. Yeah. All right, so we pulled three of the pork chops out because they were done, and my little tip is to put it on a plate and stick it in the microwave to keep it warm. And now I've added the half a teaspoon of uh, cinnamon, the tablespoon of butter. And I'm just going to pour this whole one in there. I've got two. Um... I'm gonna use the other one for the for the pork chop part of the recipe. So I'm just gonna pour that in there. It says to mash it with a mashed potato masher or a fork, but what I always do, what I'm gonna do here, I'll just make sure not to make it too creamy, is just use my KitchenAid hand mixer. That's done, I believe. We just, I'm gonna put the lid on it to keep it to keep it from getting cold. So what it says to do is add a drizzle of olive oil, but it looks like there's quite a bit of oil that's still left. So I'm not gonna add any more, but I'm just going to add the leftover of this garlic. I'm not gonna put it right on the burner part. I'm gonna put it around in the oil part. There we go. And I'm not gonna leave that for long because garlic cooks up fast. So there was a brief moment of chaos trying to keep the garlic from burning and so I wasn't able to catch on film as adding the balsamic. Okay, right, so now I've kind of let this cook for a minute and removed it from heat and let it sit and I'm going to add the other little jar of maple syrup. So it's gotten a little bit thicker as you guys can see. It's more syrupy, the whole thing's a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the chops back in. So guys, this is the finished product. I was kind of hungry when I was plating up, so it's not the prettiest um, 
what is it called? Plate. But it'll taste really good. So let's go ahead and get eating, guys. Don't forget, $40 off. Use my code down below. See you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day.